What it do boy, welcome to the video. Today I want to talk to you guys about the posterizer badge, how to get it, and just the importance of having that badge and how it benefits in positions. But hold on one time. Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm only six foot doing that. You feel me? So I had to show you guys one of my most insane dunks. That was crazy, man. You gotta rewind that, check that out again. But anyway, um, so first we're gonna talk about how to get posterizer. What are the requirements? So all you have to simply do, this is gonna be why you guys uh watch. This is a different part game. This isn't the part game where I dunked on them, but we played these people multiple times. This is a different, whole nother part game before I dunked on them. But anyway, um, that dunk was insane. Uh, so how to get posterizer? I don't know if I ever told you guys. So it's only 15 contact dunks. Now, if you want to know how to get it, like I said, it's only 15 contact dunks. You literally can just go into your my career put it on rookie that's what I would do put it on rookie and I put the speed on a hundred just to get the game over with you feel me I still play on six minutes but you can change the time to 12 minutes if you want to get if you want to get it and try to get it in one game you're not getting it in one game though it's gonna take a while because it has to say contact dunk and I'm sure you guys pretty much know that it's the same like last year gotta say contact dunk um you want to equip the in signature styles get two-handed dunks take off your one-handed dunks and do two-handed because two-handed uh increases your chances or allows your dunks to say uh contact when you go up all right so that's it though only 15 of those that's how you get it all right so that's how you get posterizer now let's talk about the importance of the posterizer badge now Oftentimes, I play with centers that don't have posterizer. Now, uh, I'm not going to say it's a requirement in the park, but it will increase your chances of winning games. Because when I play with those centers that have posterizer, it's a big difference. When, when your two shooters are getting locked down and you just dish it to your big man and he could just dunk it, like it's insane. Um, shout out to Gamer Boy, actually. One of the people that I play, one of the first subscribers that... I found out how cheating posterizer is and I'm talking about for a big man so definitely you want to get it for all your guards but I'm just saying the importance of it for a big man is insane people don't realize it especially in pro-am like in pro-am you can't just be a center that just sits still and only get rebounds you can't just only get boards in pro-am especially if you're not um if you want to be a center that don't want to shoot or don't want to increase your inside whichever one you choose like Adding posterizer to your repertoire is crazy because you're just gonna keep doing standing dunk, standing dunk, standing dunk. Um, so yeah, that's that's something to keep in mind for uh, uh, big men out there that wanna play with me in the park. I'm making posterizer a new requirement. I gotta make that requirement because if you can't shoot, what else can you do? I mean, of course you gotta be a snagger and all that. But anyway, yeah, man. So get out there and get your posterizer badge now. One thing I can't tell you, I can't tell you how to unlock it for a center, bro. Like, I might need to make a tutorial for that, for big men on how to do it, because I've never unlocked posterizer for big men. I didn't even know you guys can get it. So, that that sound like it's tough, unless it's easy to dunk on a computer. I'm not sure how that works out in my career for a big man. But anyway, back to the guards and the small forwards. Well, of course, it's going to be super easy to get posterizer at small forward. Especially if you choose inside, they're gonna specialize in dunking, so it's not hard. But anyway, like I said, man, you can go to the top of the key, three point line, set a screen. Basically, you just wanna get your dunks off of screens when you're going against the computer. Just set a bunch of screens and get your uh get your dunks like that, get your contact dunks. You can set it at the elbow, you could do a spin, or you could just run around the screen and try your best to get a dunk. Um it might be super hard to get posterized on Hall of Fame because the computer going to be playing some crazy, insane type defense. So I don't know how hard it would be. But like, but anyway, I got mine on rookie. You feel me? With this new point guard. Y'all already knew about me making this point guard. And yeah, put your joint on gold. And um, as you can see in the beginning of the game, those are the type of dunks I do 
you feel me and even in pro-am it's increased when i'm in pro-am i'm just rising up so it's just another benefit to making your player more diverse etc etc so i hope i gave you guys a good tip it's probably 